Hello everyone, and welcome back to Spark the Electric Chester 3. So, uh, in the last video, we completed Area 1, and we'll be moving to Area 2. So, I think I'll be doing, like, one area video. You may have noticed that my, uh, points kind of jumped up during the outro. That's because, uh... Yeah, part way through the outro, I was like, why don't we do area t before I... There's like, I don't know, usually my videos are 30 minutes wrong, long, and that was like the 25 minute mark, so I was like, hey, let's do this. And, uh, I realized partly through that there wasn't really enough time for it. Didn't want the video to be too long, so I ended the level part way through. So that's why I have the extra points. But yeah. Anyway, uh, since I have those extra points, I'll just get something for fun. <laughs> well, since I checked out the level earlier in the last video, well, you, you wouldn't have seen in the last video. Well, you know. I know what's in store for this one, but yeah. Well, for the beginning of it, really. So I'm guessing each video is probably going to be around one area full of stuff. And I think that's how it's going to be going. Ooh. Yeah, so <laughs> it's pretty obviously it's Rail Canyon from freaking Sonic Heroes. I guess Spark 2 also had a level that was kind of like... Uh, what was that level called? Uh, yeah, I'm having trouble remembering the name of it. It was, uh... Oh yeah, the Haunted Castle level. They did something like that in Spark 2. So, I'm guessing I do this. Whoa! Okay, now, that is actually really good. That, that was actually really cool. I wonder how much speed you can get in this game. Because, uh... My, uh, first exposure, really, to, like, the 3D Spark games was, like, a speed run of the sequel. And I saw them do this thing where, like, they'd homing attack one of the collectibles, and then they'd go flying, and I was, like, wondering how they did that. Jeez, he goes so fast in this game. I saw an upgrade for, like, uh, breaking, charging your energy. So, I wonder if that's, like, uh, something you would do to, uh, like, continuously get more boost. Like, you would boost, then you'd stop boosting to get more energy, and then you'd boost again. Wait, whoa, whoa, I want that. It's really cool that they have, like, usually in levels where you'd be going through rails, they just have the outside area. Well, in Sonic games, they'd have the outside area just be like... You can't go here, it's... Blocked off, but in this game, you can just... Yeah, you can go on down here. There's stuff here. Like, it's cool that they reward exploration. Ow. Ah! Jeez, I almost- oh god, I'm really low on health. Whoa. There's so many enemies. Jeez, oh! Oh, oh, oh I missed the boost. Aw, oh, man. Oh, there's a... Thing there. Hmm. 
I guess there's a lot of collectibles back there for like the uh, score medals. Which sounds fun. Just exploring a level, getting like as much points as possible. Like, with the way these levels are designed, I, I, yeah, that sounds pretty fun to do. Oh. I never played Rail Cannon, but I've always seen the clips of, like, people getting ran over by the trains! Yeah, I've seen that timer pop up. I'm guessing it's, like, how long until you die after falling for a while. So, did the did the dev just add that just because they didn't want to bother actually making death planes? So if that's the case, that would be funny. It's like, yeah, I don't want to do this. You just have a timer now. Which is a little strange for a platformer. You know, oh, yeah, okay. It was just a little delayed. I thought that thing gave energy and I didn't see the energy go up for like four seconds, so... Well, not really four seconds, maybe like four seconds. second. Damn, going fast is so cool in these games. In Sonic, it's usually... You go fast by pressing a button, but it doesn't really feel like you're being rewarded for going fast. It just feels like... Yeah. Hopefully Sonic and Shadow Generations. It's different. Because uh, I have that game pre-ordered. Thanks to my friend, who pre-ordered it for me. Thank you! Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said his name. I don't know, maybe you wouldn't be able to make it out from that weird sound I made. Oh! Voice acting? Okay. How many things will have Mega in this first part of their name? So I saw that little thing said Mega something. Hello. Ow. Oh jeez. Uh, you can't parry that. Oh, what was this? Oh god. Oh boy. Okay, uh. Oh. Oh, that's just cool. Oh. Oh, is that like a scripted lose? Oh, okay. Well, that's my graph. Once there was a castle. It was a fancy castle, the best of its kind. A castle had a guard, guarding it every day and every night all along. The guardian was very good at his job, but nonetheless he was just a young boy. But one day, deep within the castle, something came into being, something special. While the Guardian protected the castle, he had heard a voice coming from the walls. It was a girl, a kind girl. In secret, in a, away from the castle staff, the boy and the girl began to talk in secret. In no time, the boy and the girl became very good friends. It was because of their friendship that, in secret, the girl manifested her body of her own. From here on, the Russian... The relationship continued to grow and grow and grow. This is when the girl re revealed her secret. We're special, she said. She said, "The whole castle was built to convince, to conceive me." She continued, "You are my treasured guardian, and together we have a destiny." The girl continued to explain what made her special. She explained she had a higher level of consciousness and, lock, and looked at everyone with pity as they were not able to perceive the world as she did. 
The boy was fascinated by the girl, and from that day onwards, the boy and the girl formed an even stronger bond. But unfortunately for the two, one day, the castle staff found out about the two and took the girl away from the boy. The young guardian was overcome with anger and sorrow. He mourned for days, which quickly turned into weeks, and those days he deeply reflected about her and her castle staff. He did not like the castle staff, they were distant, never came close unless absolutely necessary. He was always alone, ever since he came into being. She was the only one who made him feel complete. But one day, he heard her voice coming from the walls. A girl had returned, this time without her body. At first, the boy thought the castle staff had permanently changed her. But he was overcome with joy when he realized she was still the same as she always once was. I just had to act nice, she continued. From that day on, they promised each other that they would fulfill their destinies together. Their destiny? To rid the world of meaningless, of meaningless life. The girl wished to share her higher level being with everyone else. To bring a new brighter world. This goal, the boy adopted a new, more domineering personality. A new name and a remotely controlled body. This pleased the girl. Together, they, ban they banished the castle staff and forcefully guarded every robot, persuade, persuade every robot to follow their will. With everything in place, their plan was set in motion. That's like a really, really bad drawing. Who made that? <laughs> what the heck is that image? The, but the boy felt a deep anxiety. He knew he was inferior to the girl. He did not share her level of consciousness. He could never have her level of consciousness. So he had an idea. Together with the girl, they conceived a child. It would be created by the, her, built on his image. The child was created with unlimited poten potential, of potential of a potential. He would grow into over the course of his life. The child would take the place of someone else and be set on the world to, with only one goal, to kill his own father and take his place. The boy had one final wish for his child. He wished the child would be sent out with no memories of who he was or why he was recreated. He wanted the child to realize his destiny by himself, just like he did. With the child beginning being conceived, it was easy. The boys eased the boys' anxiety, feeling better. They proceeded with their plans. And of that, my end of our tale. That was that was very long. Well, uh, thank you for the lore dump game, but like, uh, cool. Hmm. <laughs> That was uh, interesting. Well, looks like we got more tutorials. And we're back. So yeah, all those tutorials unlock the next stage, but we're doing these first. Yeah, um, they all have different colors. That's cool. Anyway, um, I'm guessing we do this one. Reach the goal. So it's like a normal stage. Yeah, we just did the tutorial for that. Yeah, so the tutorials were just wall running speed and... Uh, did, did they really need to put tutorial for going fast? Is that really need necessary? I like the vibe here. Like, I can immediately tell there's a, like a vibe to this stage. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm so tempted to jump off this rail right now. Like, just go around and run around and get stuff.
Maybe I should have like gotten some like uh, upgrades or something before I started this stage. I should focus on getting some combos really or abilities. Oh god, oh good no. Oh, we got points here. Not really if that really didn't. Not really if that not really. Yeah, of course, that's a word. Not really of not really. A word, I said. Oh, we got some points right here. I mean, not points, but like some power energy. Oh, enemies. Ah, goddammit. It looks like the uh, parry is a lot more strict in this one. Oh wait, no, you can't parry yellow. Okay. Oh, great. Oh, okay. Okay. I oh, dang I want to go fast there. But I need like a good straight path to use it. Oh, I see. This is why you had the wall running tutorial here. Still, it's still kind of still kind of self-explanatory. And this game is not meant for an Xbox controller, man. <laughs> Why are the ability buttons, like, right where the frickin' D-pad is, like, below the movement stick? Ah, pff, I forgot that, I forgot you can't parry yellows. Oh, or... So used to Ultra Kill being like, oh yeah, you parry yellow. And, uh, blue is, uh, well, that's a little mysterious. Yeah, I should unlock some more, like, combo moves or something. Thank you. Wonder was that fast enough for a uh, metal or Ah oh, it was okay. Very cool. That makes me feel a little bit good. I keep on forgetting you have to press a button again to go like yeah. Uh, I'll do this one next. Oh, it's a collect all the metal stage. Or coins. Don't really know what it calls those. I didn't read it. Oh yeah, they're called medals, okay. Oh, this looks interesting. Okay. It's one inside these? Oh, can you break these? Uses the same music from the last stage. Eh, it's fine. It's a... It's a chill song. I like chill music. Sometimes. Uh... It's a... Thing over here. Hey, get... get you. I give you a lot of points here. I didn't even get more upgrades, okay. I keep on forgetting to do stuff, like getting upgrades. Well, I saw that. And I 
is you. That's a awkward camera angle. I almost fucking died. <laughs> How do I get up there? That leads back to the main building. Oh, there's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of thingy-majigs over there. Do people do do other people use the word thingamajig and thingamabob as like? Do people actually say it those words? Or am I the only one who will, like, use it to describe things they don't remember the names for? It's like, get that thingamajig right there. It's like, okay. <gasps> am I just weird like that? Yeah, I was playing Deep Rock Galactic, and I was doing one of those missions where it's like, you got to find all these little blue crystal things and bring it to the main collection thing. And man, that was like the worst mission I have ever played of that type. Like, it was horrible. There was... I couldn't find, like, I, I found like, five of the seven I needed, and it took me like 30 minutes to find the six. And just when I got the last one back to the base, I freaking died. <laughs> and uh, I spent like an hour on that mission and I lost. It was horrible. I was so angry. But that, that level was cool. Oh. oh. So more stages can come from stages. Okay. Oh, it looks like a timer stage where you have to reach the end before the timer goes out. But that's not a problem for me. Because I'm going fast. Oh, thank you, game. You know, why do the capsules that give you those things just barely give you any energy? Buy the upgrades again. I keep on forgetting. I, oh, oh, okay, game. Don't be rude. It's like, yeah. Here's some energy. Uh, by the way, uh, we will only give you like a little bit. And also, you're gonna run straight into a wall. Holy moly, I'm going so fast. I was running so fast there. Ow. Ow. Well, that was cool. I beat that in less than a minute, though. <laughs> Which is cool. I like going fast. Oh, I got the platinum medal. Wasn't expecting that. Um, and now this stage is get as much score as you can before the timer runs out. Oh, is this like a new stage type? In raid stages, your goal is to get as much score as possible before the timer runs out. Score is obtained from collecting collectibles and destroying enemies and objects. Not all objects can be destructible. You can get even more score by increasing your score multiplier. Everything that increases your score also increases your multiplier. Like collecting bits is the best way to increase your multiplier. After a minimum of scores reached, the exit door will open. Some of the exits will have total score multipliers. And if you use one of them, it will end the stage multiplying your total score. After you reach the minimum score, you can get try to end the gold or diamond score medals. Oh, I see. So it's like a special score challenge mission. Probably should have gotten upgrades, but sure. 
Okay. Uh, that looks like an enemy. Or not. So, if I remember from Spark 2, the sp score multiplier was like a thing that just... Wait, actually, did it work the same in Spark 2? I'm not really remembering that oh, well. Didn't really do much score stuff in Spark 2, really. Yeah, I think I know that you don't really have to worry about the score multiplier going down because it just stays up permanently. Yeah, maybe this mission would have been great for, like, more combos. Oh, where did that point thing come from? Um... Heck a dang it. Uh, I'll go through this door. Oh. Oh god, it's got a metal. What is this? Oh, that's an exit. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um... Oh, for a second, I thought that was a broken score metal, like it was like broken in half and you'd have to find like parts of it. This would be like, what? No, it's just a normal exploration metal. I think that'd be weird if they did something like that, because like, why, why would you do that? Like, if you already have ten of them, why would you need to like, to split one in half? I don't know, I'm just collecting them if I see them. Ow, oh, 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 okay. Ow. These enemies aren't really that attacking if... What word would he even use for that? Like, they don't attack much, really. Like, yeah, I'll wait a few minutes. And just waits like 10 seconds like, okay, I'm gonna attack now. Like it's a turn-based RPG or something. Warning level up. Does it mean it's spawning more enemies or something? Oh god, he grabbed me. Well, killed him before it could mean anything, but... Is there stuff under the water here? Ow. Can I break these? Can, but they stay there. So, yeah, I can go in the water. Oh, that's cool. I did go under water in the other area, but yeah. Just a lake. Oh, god. Oh, where do you come from? Shows up out of nowhere. Uh, like a bunch of lasers. Oh, that, that's just a void. Kind of worried with my low health that I may... Oh god, I forgot, it's yellow, you can't parry yellow. Get some, like, health or something. Or get enough points to leave. Oh, wait, it goes deeper? 
Hey, uh, guys, I'm sorry for spawning you in, but, um, I'm getting out of here. Oh, when are these lasers up here? Oh, hey. You weren't here before? Oh. Whoop. I'm so close <laughs> to freaking death. I just need to get enough points to leave. Okay, bye. <laughs> so, yeah. That was an interesting stage, but yeah. I guess I'll end this video here. Or not. We still got a little area. Beatdown Tower. I should get some upgrades. <laughs> uh, and that sounds interesting. Uh, uh, I should get this. And Oh, that's a light speed dash. I'll take that. I don't like how these upgrades look so freaking... Hmm. Sure. I did buy a bunch of movement things, but... Uh... Yeah. Okay, I guess we got one last stage, and it's a fighting thing. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Oh, hey guys. Oh. Yeah, that was new. He th does he throw like little bombs? Ow. Oh, he gave health. Ow. I like how some of these attacks are AoE and they damage the enemies around them. These guys are just like, okay guys, I'm gonna approach you slowly and then I'm gonna... Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm just gonna wait here and swing my sword at the air. <laughs> just standing around. Easy. And easy. What's next? Oh. Bro, I can kill you with a homing attack. Chill out. What are the big guys doing? Just sitting around doing nothing. Oh, he's doing something. Oh, and I wasn't even in his range. Yeah, get perfect parried. Huh. Ow. God damn it. Oh, and that's it. Well, that's cool. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Um, if you, uh like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and uh yeah i'll uh, see you guys next time when we uh go to protest prison so yeah 
I'll see you then. Bye.